With all the streaming services that are available flooding us with choices, it can be hard to find something to watch, especially when you're looking for something that's binge-worthy. We've rounded up everything interesting and longed for, which is coming to Netflix, Stan, Amazon Prime Video, Disney+, Plus, Binge, and Paramount+. Plus. Let's get started. Let's start with the big one, Netflix. When it comes to movies that are being released on Netflix this month, be sure to settle in for Against the Ice, Breaking the Ice on March 2nd, a passion project from Danish Nikolaj Coaster Waldo, best known for his role as Jamie Lannister. This movie is a real-life survival drama about an expedition to Greenland in 1909. However, if you'd rather spend some time with Ryan Reynolds, the science fiction tale The Atom Project will be available from March 11th. On the biggest, most current scale, we have Formula One Drive to Survive. Dropping on the 11th of March, the fourth season of the docuseries is slightly controversial after Max Verstappen confirmed that he will not be in it, calling it fake. It still falls follows the sport's most dramatic season to date, so there's no doubt it's going to be worth the watch. A noteworthy arrival from local soil are the first two seasons of Red Fern Now, accompanied with the telemovie Red Fern Now Promise Me. First aired on ABC One in 2012, it'll be available on Netflix from the 24th of March. And the wait is finally over for Bridgerton. Season 2 is finally dropping on Netflix on March 25th. Sadly, fan favorite Duke of Hastings, portrayed by Regé Jean Page, will not be returning. But the story is bound to be just as binge-worthy, with Viscount Bridgerton played by Jonathan Bailey at its center. Don't lie, we know you're going to watch it. Following, what has Stan on offer for March 2022? Not disappointing with quality content, there are several must-watch movies and TV series coming to Stan in March 2022. To start off with, Young Adult, available from March 9th. Starring Charlize Theron in the role of Mavis, a divorced ghostwriter decides she's fed up with her life and makes her way to her high school boyfriend, portrayed by Patrick Wilson, to claim him back. Only problem is that he is happily married and a new father to boot. Next to it, we have Minx with Jake Johnson and Ophelia Lovibon, a comedy series set in 1970, a time when Playboy and Penthouse were selling millions of magazines a month. This show focuses on the rise of the women's equality movement. It'll be available to watch from March 17th. Also in the movie category, Don't You Dare Pass Over La La Land, finally being streamed on stand from March 29th. Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling may not be masters of dancing, but they sure make up for it in every other way in this instant classic. And let's not forget The Girl from Plainville, a limited series starring Elle Fanning, a true crime that explores the 2014 death of American teen Conrad Roy, played by Colton Ryan. Fanning has proven herself to be quite distinguished in choosing eclectic roles, making this one of the most promising releases of Stan. It'll be available starting March 30th. Next, let's take a look at Amazon Prime Video. Sadly, no new documentaries are coming to Amazon Prime Video this month, and it will remain fairly quiet throughout the month when it comes to movies and TV series as well. What's coming to Amazon Prime Video is an adaptation of one of the books by one of the best chick flick writers we know of, Nicholas Sparks. We're talking about Dear John, available from the 1st of March, a romantic war drama starring Amanda Seyfried and Channing Tatum. Do we need to say more? Also coming to Amazon Prime Video, the new season of Upload, all episodes being released at the same time on March 11th. This quirky sci-fi about the afterlife is brought to you by the man who also blessed us with The Office, so prepare for some binging once you sit down to watch this one. If you're looking for more of a thriller, maybe A Most Wanted Man is more your thing. Coming on the 23rd of March, this espionage film stars Philip Seymour Hoffman, Willem Dafoe, and Rachel McAdams. It's based on the novel by the same name, which recounts the true story of Murat Kurnaz, who was accused of being a dangerous terrorist, which really can't be good. So what's coming to Disney Plus in March 22? Starting off on the 2nd of March, the streaming premiere of West Side Story Story, directed by Steven Spielberg and starring Ansel Elgert and Rachel Ziegler, who play Tony and Maria, who fall in love at first sight, but their families won't have it, and their love is fuel on the fire for the rivalry between their two families. Also dropping on the 2nd of March is a Disney Plus original, Legion. It's based on the Marvel character David Hallen, a troubled young man. Diagnosed with schizophrenia as a young child, in and out of hospitals his entire life, he comes to realize he may not be entirely human. Also coming on March 2nd is Trust, a series showing the trials and errors of one of America's wealthiest yet unhappiest families. 
Indians, starting in 1973 with the kidnapping of John Paul Getty III, who was held by the Italian Mafia for a whopping $17 million ransom. How that went over with the family, you'll have to find out by watching Trust Yourself. A Disney Plus original is set to premiere on March 30th. We're talking about Moon Knight, of course. Another series based on a Marvel character. Moon Knight follows Stephen Grant, a gift shop employee, who starts getting blackouts in memories of another life. He discovers that he has disassociative identity disorder and shares a body with Mark Spector. Next up, we're taking a look at what Binge and Paramount Plus have to offer for March 2022. Do you know what the most anticipated premiere of Paramount Plus is? And what are some of the documentaries that will be available for streaming this month? Find out in the next part of this video. But first, let's start with Binge. Starting off on March 1st, we have This Is Going To Hurt, a British series starring Ben Wishaw. It's based on Adam Kay's best-selling non-fiction book about a junior doctor trying to make his way through the hospital hierarchy. Described as painfully, heartbreakingly honest, it's a must-see for this month. Also available from the 1st of March is Culture Shock, Michael Jackson's final curtain call. In this documentary, reporters, newscasters, friends, and family trace back the events of that sad day, June 25, 2009, a day neither Michael Jackson nor the world was ready for. In the second week of March, on the 7th, keep an eye out for Shining Veil. In it, you'll find Courtney Cox, Greg Kinnear, and Mira Sorvino. Once a family has settled into their new home in a small town, the mother starts seeing a ghost. The question is, is she going mad or is she possessed? On March 10th, it's time to really get to know Sir Ian McKellen. And the best way to do that is through his full-length documentary, as told by the Sir himself. In it, he shares his personal thoughts and stories, from childhood to present day, filled with never-before-seen material, like excerpts from his diaries, family photo albums, and more. Make sure you don't miss this one. And last but certainly not least, Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus is setting the tone of the month with the movie Three Months, a dark comedy about a queer American teen played by Troy Sivan, who is exposed to HIV right before his high school graduation. But to find out whether he really got the virus, he's going to have to wait three months. Yes, it's going to give you all the feels, but it's absolutely worth it, trust us. If you need to change things up a bit after that, what about The Desperate Hour, available on Paramount Plus from March 3rd? It's about a recently widowed mother, portrayed by Naomi Watts, who lives in a small town with her teenage son, who is mourning the loss of her husband. While on a jog in the woods, her town falls into chaos as a shooting takes place in her son's school. This thriller drama sure is a change of pace. But the biggest premiere we've all been waiting for must be Halo, a sci-fi that takes place in the 26th century. There's an ongoing conflict between humanity and an alien threat known as The Covenant. It's based on the video game that holds the same name and says it's going to attempt to weave deeply drawn personal stories. In the middle of all of this is Master Chief, played by Pablo Schrieber, who most of us will know from American Gods. It's highly anticipated and really you won't forgive yourself for missing it. Episodes start being released weekly starting from March 24th. Now that you've known everything worthwhile coming to your favorite streaming services in the coming month, what are you looking forward to the most? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.